For centuries, the idea of the universe expanding has captivated the minds of both scientists and philosophers. They have pondered the mysteries of the cosmos, and the nature of reality. Today, the work of astrophysicists and cosmologists has propelled us towards a greater understanding of the universe, and its expansion. The three scientists, Saul Perlmutter, Ryan P. Schmidt, and Adam G. Rees, were awarded Nobel Prize in Physics for their discovery that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. It wasn't until the early 20th century that the idea of an expanding universe was scientifically proven. Enter Edwin Hubble, an American astronomer who used his telescope to observe distant galaxies and found that they were moving away from us at high speeds. This led Hubble to conclude that the universe was not only expanding, but that it had a beginning, a moment of creation, which came to be known as the Big Bang. Without taking anything away from these brilliant scientists, let me tell you that this concept is not new, ancient texts like the Vedas have long described the dynamic nature of the cosmos, and the idea of an expanding universe. The roots of this scientific and spiritual pursuit can be traced back through time, reminding us of the enduring human fascination with the mysteries of the universe. Before delving into the ancient wisdom of the Vedas, it is worth exploring the thrilling tale of how modern science uncovered the mind-bending concept of the expanding universe. Supernovae, the dazzling and powerful explosions that occur when stars collapse in on themselves, have helped scientists unlock the secrets of the universe. In the 1990s, two teams of intrepid astronomers led by Perlmutter, Schmidt and Rees embarked on a quest to use these cosmic explosions to unravel the mysteries of the universe's expansion. They sought to measure how fast the universe was expanding at different times in its history, hoping to understand whether the expansion was slowing down or accelerating. To do this, the teams studied two types of supernovae, Type 1a and Type 2. Type 1a supernovae, in particular, are useful for studying the of the universe because they have a consistent brightness that enables astronomers to determine their distance from Earth with precision. By studying the light emitted by these supernovae, the teams were able to determine how fast they were moving away from us, and thus how fast the universe was expanding at the time the explosions occurred. Their findings were astonishing. The more distant supernovae appeared to be moving away from us faster than expected, suggesting that the expansion of the universe was not slowing down, but accelerating. This flew in the face of the prevailing model of the universe, which predicted that the expansion should be slowing down due to gravitational attraction. This led scientists to hypothesize the existence of dark energy, a mysterious force that is thought to be driving the universe's accelerating expansion. The discovery made by Perlmutter, Schmidt, Rees, and their teams revolutionized our understanding of the universe and opened up new avenues of inquiry in astrophysics and cosmology. Thanks to the explosive power of supernovae, we have come closer than ever before to unlocking the secrets of the cosmos. The ancient Rig Veda, a text that has endured the test of time and speaks of the universe in the most awe-inspiring way. Within its sacred pages lies a revelation, that has mystified and fascinated scholars for centuries. The Rig Veda speaks of the universe as an entity that is boundless and infinite, a concept, that defies the limits of human imagination. Imagine, if you will, a vast expanse that knows no end, a cosmic tapestry that stretches out endlessly into the unknown. This breathtaking idea implies that the universe is not only vast but also in a constant state of expansion, a dynamic force that continues to grow and evolve with each passing moment. It suggests that there is more to the universe than we can ever comprehend, that the mysteries of the cosmos are far beyond our limited understanding. Swami Vivekananda, a renowned Indian philosopher, who spent years studying the Vedas, poring over the sacred texts, and deciphering their meaning, said decades before. The universe is expanding, and we are all moving forward in this expansion. The whole creation is moving forward and expanding. This is the law of the universe. 
Vivekananda's words reflect the idea that the universe is in a constant state of motion, and that everything within it is in a state of flux. The Upanishads, another set of ancient texts that form part of the Vedas, further elaborate on the concept of an expanding universe. They describe the universe as being in constant motion, with cycles of expansion and contraction, which is embodied in the idea of samsara. What is fascinating, is that the Vedas also mention Brahman, an impersonal being that is considered the efficient and material cause of the universe. The root of the word Brahman means to grow, to expand, or to enlarge, which is directly linked to the notion of an accelerated expanding universe. This implies that the Hindu perspective on cosmology is similar to the modern scientific understanding of the universe. For centuries, the Vedas have provided a unique and thought-provoking perspective on the universe's nature and its constant expansion. Philosophers and scientists have been captivated by these ideas for generations, and the fact that this knowledge has been available for thousands of years is intriguing. According to the ancient wisdom of the Vedas and Bhagavad Gita, the creation, expansion, and stabilization of the universe will continue for the next 4,320,000,000 years. But what comes after? In a cycle that is as old as time itself, the universe will begin to shrink and everything will be destroyed during this process. The sheer magnitude of this destruction is unfathomable, as the whole of the universe will disappear completely. But the cycle will not end there, for after the destruction comes the creation, expansion, and stabilization, and the cycle continues indefinitely. This cyclic and periodic nature of the universe means that there is no upper time limit, and time itself tends to infinity. It is a cosmic mystery that both science and spirituality have sought to unravel, and it has been the focus of Nobel Prize winning research. It is only relatively recently that modern science has rediscovered, and validated these ancient ideas. This is one among the many another pivotal moments in history where, the age-old wisdom of Vedas converges with the discoveries of the modern science. Thank you for watching. Please do like share and subscribe. Be enlightened.